Alright, it's Chef Buck here and today we're going to cook up a super healthy and delicious Mediterranean quinoa dish. Well, here's a tip, you know, if you're buying quinoa, because I get some people, you know, telling me, ah, quinoa is too expensive, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes you'll go into a store and they'll have it in a couple of different areas. Sometimes they'll have it in the fruit, fruit, healthy, health food area. Go look in the bulk section. Go look in, in with the rice. Go look around. Because you can find it in the same store in three different areas for three different prices. And I like to pay around five bucks. You know, five, six bucks a pound, four bucks a pound. But you can get it for around that. It's an awesome grain, but it's not really grain. It's a seed, but you can treat it like a grain. I use it in almost every dish that I can use rice, I can use quinoa. All right, so we're just gonna rinse our quinoa, polish it up. We got one cup of quinoa. Gonna throw it in a saucepan, and to that I'm gonna add two cups of water, because you wanna do a one to two ratio. We're gonna throw a little bit of salt in there, and we'll add some salt later as well. But I'm gonna turn this up on high heat, and you know, get it going into a boil. And I'm also going to throw some uh, spices in here, some herbs. You know, this is a little uh, dried thyme and oregano and basil. So we'll go ahead and toss that in there. Boom. I'm going to cover it up. While our quinoa is coming to a boil, I'm going to go ahead and take a skillet and I'm going to heat me up a little bit of olive oil. We're going to saute some onions here. Okay, so our oil is nice and heated up. So I'm going to go ahead and throw in some chopped onions. I got one medium sized onion here. You know, or use just half a large one. But we'll throw this in here and start that sauteing. Looks like my quinoa has come to a boil. So I'm gonna go ahead and reduce that down to low, cover it up and let it simmer away for 15 minutes. And while that's going on, we're gonna saute up our onions. So I got some minced garlic. I got like uh, three cloves of garlic right here. So I'm gonna put most of it in here. Boom, boom, boom. Most of that garlic's going in there. And then I'm going to save this. I'm going to reserve this for later because I'm going to put a little raw garlic in with the salad too. Because I like that flavor. That's all we're doing. Sauteing up our onion and garlic and letting our quinoa simmer away for 15 minutes on low heat. Let's check it. Look at it. Come over here, camera girl. Why are you being so shy? See, it's simmering away. Boom. We're going to do this for 15 minutes till that water is absorbed. So I'll see you in the future. So our uh, quinoa has been going for about seven minutes. It uh, looks like the water is being absorbed in there, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw a little bit of salt and pepper in here with my uh, sauteing onions so that they'll have a little bit of flavor. All right, so there you go. Boom, just season up your uh, onions a little bit while they're sauteing. And uh, we'll give this quinoa another seven minutes, then we'll be back in the future. Boom, look at that. That's the end of our 15 minutes. So we're gonna turn this off. Our quinoa has been going for 15 minutes. In fact, I've been sauteing these onions for 15 minutes on low heat. But let's see, we've had it simmering on low. Go ahead and turn it off. Alrighty, so look at that. See, the water has been absorbed and our quinoa is nice and ready. Now normally you would just leave this alone and let it sit for a minute. But we're going to go ahead and add some spinach. We're going to add spinach while it's hot because we want our greens to wilt. This is about two cups of fresh spinach chopped up. And it looks like a lot, but that's mostly air. It's going to get folded into this quinoa and then the heat of this quinoa is going to wilt it up. And along with the spinach, I got like a quarter cup of uh, fresh basil right here. And this is going to be a great flavor. It's going to make it Mediterranean licious. Get your basil and your spinach mixed in there and let it wilt up in here, you know, with the heat from the quinoa. We're going to go ahead and throw our onions in there too. And this is actually quite a little bit of onion. You don't have to use this much onion, but I like onion. If you're not a fan of the garlic, you don't have to use garlic, but I like garlic. So we're going to go ahead and throw this in here as well while it's nice and hot. Now we got a few more things to add, but we'll go ahead and let it cool down for a few minutes. Right now it's pretty hot, so I don't want to put the tomato or cheese in here right now because I don't want it to melt up and be, be a big lumpy mush. So we'll let, it, we'll let it cool down, let it sit with the onion and the spinach and the basil in it for about 
five minutes, maybe 10 minutes. We'll see. So it's been 10 minutes and I fluffed it with a fork a couple of times. You can still see it's kind of steaming a little bit, but it's not nearly as hot as it was. So I'm going to go ahead and add a few more ingredients. Uh, first thing, boom, a little bit of vinegar. Use any kind you like. I'm just using rice vinegar, a little mild kind of vinegar. Boom. Putting in about a tablespoon. A tablespoon plus whatever that is. You saw it. It was a picture. But you know, to taste, I'm going to throw a little bit more salt in there just because I got a feeling. Then I'm going to add in uh, that little bit of uh, minced garlic that I had that I didn't saute up with the onions. A little bit of raw garlic because I love raw garlic in quinoa salads. Then I'm going to throw in some uh, Tommy Toes. Now this is uh, some cherry tomatoes. Just got them split in half. You know, because it's got the skin, they're going to stay together. So it's a great component in a salad. And then finally, a little bit of feta cheese. And, and also be aware when you put in your salt that the feta cheese is also going to have salt in it. You know, and, and you can put anywhere between a half a cup and one cup of feta cheese. You know, I got about three quarters of a cup right here. Well, probably closer to one cup, actually. Now we're going to stir it up. Boom. Super delicious. Super healthy. Very easy to make. Mediterranean style quinoa salad. It's awesome hot. You know, when you make it, eat it right then. Any leftovers, throw them in the fridge. It's just as tasty. It's more tasty. Maybe even cold. Super delicious. Super healthy. We're getting on the health wagon. What the heck are these? It's got a hole in it. Look at that, that's air. You know, how unhealthy can that be? You need air to live. You know, so come along and ride the health train with Chef Buck and Kim. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to show behind the scenes. These are air holders. Yeah, so that makes them healthy. I probably shouldn't do that. <laughs>